Hey guys, I'm back here again. We'll be doing a, uh, another video. This will probably be the uh, third one in a series for the uh, videos up here today, but I want to make about five. Uh, the first two are involving the um, testing of the functionality for the uh, new low receiver, the A, uh, A2 stock. Uh, low receiver, the rifle length gas, or I should say, I keep on calling it rifle length gas, I'm sorry. It's the A2 uh, M16A4 uh, low receiver with the rifle um, buffer system on here as well, too. So that's what it looks like. Uh, function great, no problems, no hiccups. And so this one absolutely ran great from Aero Precision. Uh, no functionality issues other than having a, a heavy trigger on here. Uh, this trigger right here, it's got about like a nine pound trigger. It's, it's really heavy, guys. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it's real good, but uh, I did take it out of the gun and I did lube it up and I put um, white lithium grease all over the contact gear and then I stuck it back into the actual lower. And it, it seemed to help it a little bit better, but the thing is, uh, if only way to really help, um, you know, your trigger on there, you have to just put a new one in there. Just put like an ALG ACT uh, combat trigger with the um, purple spring in there, and that should uh, definitely decrease your uh, felt um, pull on there. It'll, it'll probably take it from about nine down to about a th like, I mean, three and a half, four pounds right there if you put a lot of grease on the actual contact uh, sear areas for the actual trigger assembly down inside here for that. So that's what I have for that one. It uh, functioned great. Uh, the rep, rep, uh, rifle did not give me any hiccups. Uh, it, it functioned perfectly fine. It's about 35, 36 degrees up here with a little bit of wind up here right now. So for a reference point from, you know, what the actual temperature is outside right now using this system right here specifically for that. I probably will be adding uh, some additional weights to the actual buffer system in the back right here because uh, right now the buffer system weighs about a 5, I think it's about a 5 point, I think 5.1 or 5.2 the actual weight. I, what I want to do is take it out to maybe about like six, uh, six ounces in there because uh, my other, um, uh, we're going to call A5 uh, uh, stock assemblies back here, the actual buffer tubes. Uh, this one right here, I have an H4 buffer in this one right here. And I got an H3 buffer in this one over here right here for that. I want to try to get up to about maybe five and a half or like six ounces for the actual rifle uh, buffer system right here specifically for that so I can get the ejection pattern down to about maybe 334 o'clock at a reliable setting whether it be cold or hot out there for that so you can take the buffer part in there and you can add additional weights me personally what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the buffer out of there and take the actual uh, aluminum uh, peaks in there and I'm probably going to swap them out for two steel pieces or maybe one tungsten piece for one of steel pieces and that should solve the uh, uh, recoil, um, you know, recoil, recoil window. You know, get the window from around three o'clock, three fifteen, up to about maybe around four o'clock, right there for that. So that's an update. Uh, I'll, I'm going ahead and I'll let the gun cool down here for a few minutes, and we'll be doing the uh, secondary shooting up here. I just want to do a comparison shot. But somebody asked me to do that whenever I got the uh, rifle lower. I'm going to do a comparison between the carbine one right here and the. Voltar A5 as well too using the same exact ammunition as I had in the previous uh, videos up here for that guy. So stay tuned guys. We'll see you. I'll see you. 